on BBC Bite Size. We are red carpet ready now here on BBC Scotland. All the entertainment news you need, including some fringe chat. Here's Frankie Allen and the edit. Roll out the red carpet, it's time for the edit. I'm Frankie Allen, this is the edit. Let's have a wee look at what's making the cut this week. As the Edinburgh Fringe winds down for another year, we'll review the highs, the lows and everything in between with three popular performers. From Neighbours to Netflix, Aussie actress and songstress Delta Goodrum talks about taking her career to new heights. And there's been an indie ref. Taggart star John Mickey tells us about his politically charged new play that's premiered in Pitlochery. It's that time of the year when the world packs its bags to leave Edinburgh and Edinburghers move back into the homes they've rented out for the gross national product of a developing nation. Yes, the fringe is coming to a close and with it, three weeks of comedy, controversy and all-round chaos. Throughout the month of August, Indigo Stafford has brought us a selection of the best and most bonkers bits of the festival. And this week she joined performers Suze Kempner, Jamie Finn and The Chase's very own Vixen Jenny Ryan to look back on the legacy of 2023 in the capital. Welcome to the Friends! <laughs> to be rounding up the fabulous Fringe with some of the best talent on offer. We've got the fabulous Suze, Jamie and Jenny joining us today. So tell us all about your shows. So my show's about uh, being 15 in the year 2000 and it's just, you know, what I didn't know when it was 10 seconds to midnight in the year 2000 and what I've learned and what stayed the same. It's basically like, ha, ah, remember hope. That's, <laughs> that's the vibe. I'm terrified of the future. And now, over two decades later, I feel exactly the same. So as you are also taking part in Adam Kay's show, which mm -hmm. is another hugely popular show, obviously. Yeah. He's very well known for his book, This Is Going mm -hmm. To Heart. What's that been like? Oh, it's great. He sells out every night so it's 750 people every night wow. and uh yeah it's well, that's quite inspirational to go out and go oh here's what i could win <laughs> uh, i'm a musical comedian uh well i i might just be a, a musician ultimately the choice is yours and jamie tell me a little bit about your show then a true story is that safe to say yeah it's so inspired by sort of events that's happened to me and it's uh it's Characters definitely for sure. It's um, basically in, in this story, my, my girlfriend left me for a man that goes to the gym, um, which is lovely. Ooh, uh, and that's I, a I, sore one. It's a sore one, but I've, I've managed to create something resembling art slightly. Time to bring on the chaser. Jenny, you're known as the vixen on the chase, and you're also an X Factor favourite. Are you bringing some of that showbiz experience to your show? Is it all singing, all dancing? No dancing, absolutely. I, I would, I would get. <laughs> people asking for their money back okay. um, but the show yeah it's it is all about me darling <laughs> it's autobiographical and we've taken some of the questions I get asked most frequently about my life and behind the scenes at the chase I have been wanting to ask a chaser this forever you know when you've got John on the show and he's told you that he's gonna spend this money on a family holiday to Tenerife how do you have the heart to, to still take the money off them. We see ourselves as sports people. So we've got this sporty mentality where we build ourselves up to win. And it, it's almost autopilot. You want to get all those questions correct. It doesn't matter what the result is. Poor, you know, poor old Jeff can't take his grandkids to Disney World. Sorry, Jeff, find another <laughs> way. Get better at quizzing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No guilt at all. You'll watch that back and you'll be, oh, there was a couple more we could have snuck in there. And this has been the first big fringe back since the pandemic ended. Do you feel like there's a different energy? Yeah, I feel like it's back. More expensive than ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a thing where, I, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Everyone mm -hmm. I know who's been doing this for years says, you finish the month 
a much better performer, Definitely. like a hundred times over, because you've had to refine it's that like show a boot camp. Yeah. every day. Yeah. There's no other chance of, of doing mm-hmm. that. So making that investment in improving yeah. yourself as an artist, but being yeah. so out of pocket at the end of yeah, it. Yeah, it's a luxury to be able to. And, yeah. and you do just that. said it was like a boot camp. You've been on the X Factor boot camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does this compare? <laughs> oh. Um, I definitely got more sleep on X Factor. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. There's late shows out there. That, there are shows that are starting at like two in the morning mm. that you might want to go and see, and they're un- unmissable experiences. Oh, mm. There's a Mark Dean Quinn show starts at one fifty a.m. Oh yeah, Banshee. Yeah, oh, wow. and it's it's an hour and a half of him eating a kilo of cheese. And if you're pining for more content from The Fringe, check out Edinburgh Unlocked with Mark Nelson on BBC iPlayer now.